Negative 20 or something. No big bang. Pow! Episode of the Cliff New Kayla set. It's a book. sound quality and picture quality is I'm gonna try to record this in HD but and the I'm not sure how well the microphone records on this so we'll see. Starting with this side we have soldering stuff we have just a cheap uh, $25 soldering iron you know variable temperature from BG micro uh, third grade stuff pretty cheap flashlight I built for light so we have a fan I broke it yeah oh not but I broke it yeah flashlights and screwdrivers, assorted stuff, a better fan that works, and a third ham. Solder suckers, solder, hot glue gun, really useful. A couple of resistors, hot glue wire. Wire, this is interesting, it's a power supply I built. Um, it's just based around the LM317T. Take it apart here using power. Uh, that. Here we have a spark gap right there for protection. It goes into the uh, big transformer, which is about uh, 40 volts. We have our projectifier, huge capacitor, which uh, smooths out the way It's like 6,000 euro microfarads. I'm not sure you can see that. Maybe it's 60. I, I'm not quite sure. We have a 12 volt regulator for a fan and the L317 TN heat. Some hot switches. So, we have to put these things just to go. But we can plug it in. This isn't like I'm doing this every week. I'm just doing this when I want to, for fun. So yeah. So. Whoa. And then here we have our master switch, so that that connects the AC up. Turn on the fan. Turn on the output, and then it sets maximum. So if we turn it down, you can see the display is at um, about 1.5 volts. And it goes up to about 32. Turn off the fan, and then you can see the capacitor if we turn it to 32 volts, we turn it off. We can turn on the fan, it, w it will run the fan for a couple seconds. It's a pretty large capacitor. But, um, yeah, so, usable. One of my first really good projects. Um, here we have just a paper, book, cheap calculator, some pen, this mouse. Computer, my iPod, and here we have a breadboard with my launch pad on it. Um, launch pad's really nice because it's cheap. It's just running the 74 HC 595 shift register with the demo, so I'm not sure that I can I'll show you this. Yeah, there we go. So just running the demo, and then here I just have a button hooked up. It's playing with my cheap oscilloscope. That's probably going to be the uh, theme of this this uh, weekly show or whatever. But, uh, to get over here, this is where some of my stuff is stored in. Big VGA monitor that is broken. We monitor it. still works. It's got lines on it. Like here, there's a crack. But, it's pretty nice. We have a nice multimeter, the Amprobe AM240. But, pequipment.net sent it to me without a thermocouple. And I didn't feel like returning it, um, because it was too much work and I need it. So, yeah, so we have, and the, the temperature thing inside is kind of broken, because it's definitely not 65 in here. Oh, we have a cheap little Chinese probes. Uh, spark fun capacitance meter. This thing's really nice because cap meter inside multimeter. It's nice, but it's just a little bit extra for backup, and it's, it's good to hack. Have it done. We have my cheap oscilloscope. This thing barely works. It's terrible. So if anybody knows a way to get a oscilloscope under $50 in a 
pretty decent one, like a real one. I want a DSMN or cheap toy stuff. I want a real oscilloscope. Preferably with single shot, but it can be an analog scope too. Probably play with that in the future. Whatever. Some alligator clips, assorted sort of power supplies. Um, we have a clock. That is not the right time, I'll tell you that much. But I just fixed that up. Just I'll show you. Because this is, I can do what I want. We have IC, lots of ICs. Then we have some different stuff like embed. I'm not very good with embed. Thing M. Oh, these are the LEDs here. The uh, I squared C LEDs. You probably heard of but, you know, this thing. They're kind of cool. I put one inside my pocket for Halloween. We have the launch pad. Lots of launch pad stuff. A couple of LCDs. Pure sensor. I can't get that one to work. Uh, anybody can help me make that work. An embed. Uh, we have some of the LEDs in here. And CD, Arduinos, I have a Mega and a Duet Monobe with a uh, shift register shield, a box, science books, yeah, let's, let's include some science here, this is, this also has to do with science as well, nuclear science can finally be, you know, well, science, we have some, all the components that I've scavenged, if you guys are looking for good places to store components, these art boxes, they work really great, you can, because these, these uh, walls, you can, take out these walls and you can rearrange them to, you know, say you have a lot of diodes, you can make them bigger. Or like I need a big one just to store the serial stuff. So there's that. And my spark fun uh, component kit. So it's got some handy stuff that I use a lot. Spark fun um well not spark fun um uh, Alenko jumper wire kit. Breadboard to have that. Um, empty boxes. Stuff for laser tag. I'm building laser tag. See the switches and the triggers here. Show you the first one um, later on. This one. They only work in the dark, so if you guys know a cheap, cheap way to do that, you know. Uh, here's a video game I built. Nothing fancy. But it got me into microcontrollers. We have the controller here. LED matrixes. The headphone jack never worked out. Uh, some buttons, and we have a photo shield here with the wires soldered in and some transistors for controlling the, uh, the rows. And I just put some data. Um, I don't know if you guys want me to actually make that work. Tell me, and you know, I'll try. And tell me how the camera worked and how the style is, by the way. 